Welcome back, everybody, to Kingdom Rush. So, last time we learned just how bad this particular heroic challenge is. And it frustrated me so much that we are not going to play that today. We are instead going to the Iron Challenge. An Iron Challenge that only allows archers and barracks, which would be interesting. I think I remember, yeah, yeah, okay, I, I kind of know what this level's about. Just constant wolves, constant goblins. The strategy might honestly be this. Archers ready? Dodge this! Bullseye! Archers ready? Dodge this! Bullseye! Archers ready? They come in serious numbers, I mean... The audio is getting all weird with how many arrows are on screen. So many of them. Should I upgrade the barracks attack power? Because it looks like one might get through in a second. Alright. Ah. Alright. A positive thing I will give to this level is that it is simple. There aren't exactly a ton of different things you can do. And the goblins don't really seem to be much of an issue compared to the wolves, which is kind of what I was expecting. the stretch is to go with more barracks for the wolf side to um, just try to hold them back as much as possible. That's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. So here's what I'm thinking, right? It, it's... It's just a constant, you know, never-ending stream of wolves. I don't think they deviate in density at all. I think they are always there. But eventually a soldier will die, and oh, the goblins, though. There's... that's a lot of goblins. The goblins are becoming the threat. Wait, guys, I think... Guys, I think that's it. 
Why are the iron challenges so much easier than the heroic challenges? Shouldn't it be the opposite? Like, the iron challenges are so much easier. Like, every single one of these levels, the iron challenge was way easier than the heroic challenge. Alright. Well... This is going to be interesting. Dodge this. <sighs> All right, so this, I mean, knowing the heroic challenge for the last level, this one could leave us for quite a while too. Giant spiders, bandits, brigands. We do have the Elven Hall, and. The oh, well. <laughs> oh, 90 cost mage. Let's go. Like a charm. All right. Go straight to ranger. Like a whisper. Oh no, there's a lot of strategies we could use here. Just gonna see what sticks for the beginning here. I want to move these guys up. The world is behind. Uh, Yeah, so the low-cost upgrades are, are there, which is a significant positive for us. Law bandits and giant spiders, okay. By the light of the moon, the world is changed by the light of the moon. I'm not too concerned about giant spiders, but I am kind of concerned about them because they are fast. Okay. So far, though, we are making decent develop. Okay, marauders, brigands. And just plain giant spiders. They're not matriarchs, which is good. The world is changed by the light of the moon. No, no, get out of the. Okay. By the light of the moon. We definitely want. Um... Do we want poison? Honestly, I mean. Not sure if poison's a worthwhile thing compared to Wrath of the Forest because um Freedom! Matriarchs, alright, this is what I was worried about. Gonna do against hatchlings, you think? I won't put that there just in case, you know. I do feel though that this level gives you a better reason to actually use the um, Sylvan Elf Hall because it, it uh, in the campaign mode, it's it's only armored enemies that go on that path, except for some wolves and such. Um, alright, let's, let's let this wave go, Steph. Oh, oh, come on. Sh should have ideally saved our vein of fire for this anyway. It's right there. I think we have the right strategy. I put a spell on you. For honor and glory. I see dead people. The world is changed. Freedom! Either don't upgrade the barracks, or like don't put an artillery down, or something. Right. Um, 
hunt spiders, bandits, okay. It's all fine still. Except I think, yeah, I hired another one at this point so that I can, you know, guarantee the death of these bandits. I think the giant spiders are at an impasse, like they seem to be fine. Also, artillery upgrade, I have to remember it's cheaper now. So used to the heroic and iron challenges for the first couple levels. Next order business, though, I think is going to be, um... Uh, right. They do so much damage, but they are fragile. I'm gonna try and hold the Marauder in place. second longer for the Marauder to get there. Alright. <clears throat> Matriarchs. We're definitely not going to be able to afford uh, Wrath of the Forest for him. Almost every attack is a guaranteed one hit kill on a hatchling. Alright, and it's Koreans. I didn't actually read that on the right side, so I'm just gonna. Might and magic. That. Might as well get a fourth one. You know, I never got that achievement. I just realized I didn't use the Sylvan Elves at all in um, the campaign. I mean, if you're grinding for achievements, that's one you can easily get by just, like, spending your gold on it, then restarting the level. Oh, I got an idea. Look at that genius strats there, okay? Absolute genius. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Right. Maybe not. How many survived? Not a lot. I didn't read what anything was. If I had done this earlier, I might have actually um, been successful in... Ooh, Marauder on the left, okay. Yeah, I'm feeling like the Sylvan Elves just aren't gonna cut it from this point on in the level. I just realized what- wait! I just realized we're done. So maybe- oh, 45th star, let's go. I'm thinking that maybe it's just that some of these really early ones are, um, super hard. And that- because that was- aside from Southport, I think that was the easiest heroic challenge yet. That was nice. Oh, two stars. Should probably save a bit more. I think I probably want. 
I want industrialization. Although I guess endurance training is good too. We'll see. No barracks for the iron challenge. Alright, no barracks. This is a bit different. Marauders, bandits, brigands, both kinds of spider. I mean, they give us the Sylvan Elves. The world has changed. By the light the of world the moon has changed. By the light of the moon. We have no barracks. Born to be wild. We do have rangers. I put a spell on you. The world is changed by the light of the moon. Like a charm. See how this does. No barracks, but they give a oh. Honestly, you might want to start with a rain of fire on these guys. Just eliminates them as threats. I'm thinking Wrath of the Forest is probably a pretty good plan here. Forest there. Now, um, left side's looking good. Probably could use a bit more on the right. Actually, let's go for poison. Yeah. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh. Ranger completely sniped that guy. That was that was nice. Freedom! So I think there were only two marauders in the level, unless some more come at the end. Also, they killed the Sylvan Elves on the top. It doesn't matter because it looks like everything on that side is dying anyway. for anything else that might get through. Alright, they are definitely going better with the den- Okay, ready? Go. Uh-oh, uh-oh, they're getting through. They're getting through. Ah, uh, can they, can they do- Oh. At that point, it looks like it might have just been the Marauders left, though. Alright, so what did we learn from that attempt? We don't need you. This is good, though. The world, by the light of the moon. Is changed by the light of the moon. This guy going straight to Ranger is good. But we should probably put an Archer here. We don't need a Mage. We can go straight to Wrath of the Forest, which is kind of funny. I think this is a, this is a good idea. Alright. Sylvan Elves over there, we're doing something though, clearly, because now I am, I do have to worry about, you know, the constant threat of 
You know what? Better... Better Wrath of the Forest is probably the play, because... You know, better Wrath of the Forest means... More enemies at a time getting... Immobilized. The world has changed. You get a fourth one. By the light of the moon. You will need a fourth one anyway, because one's about to die. Poison strats. I want to turn the guy up there to level three because um. Eventually, we'll see a break it up. Uh, not break it, a marauder up there. Which I learned from last attempt. Close calls, though. Right, let's rally point these guys further. We just need to lock that guy there. He's he's done for. Freedom! But nothing can guarantee us a victory because of how fast these hatchlings are. That's it. We are on a roll today. That was that's nice. That's that's really nice. I don't know if we want to get an upgrade yet, or keep saving up, because the Citadel is going to be next. And okay, so how long have we been going for at this point? 23 minutes, and we've done all this. Wow. So what I've learned is it's just that this heroic challenge is uniquely hard. With that being said, I'll probably come back to it when I am a bit better at the game. I thought that all the heroic challenges were going to be as bad as this one. I'm glad that was not the case. You want to see how hard the Citadels is? Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. You can see the we killed the Juggernauts in campaign mode. Bandit, Dark Knight, Brigand, Bandit, Dark Knight, Brigand. Alright. Probably going to give this, like, an attempt. I don't want to end up, you know, spending another 50-minute episode on this. So, I can probably use a... Like a charm. Have that day. Might and magic. Archers ready? I put a spell on you. You can probably use a strategy Freedom! similar to that of, um... Oh, we did in the campaign, right? We, if they don't sneak through, we don't ever have to worry about what happens back here. And there's no juggernaut in this, so we don't have to worry about, you know, golem heads at all. And if just, like, one guy gets through, gets past everything, well, then we can just, um let these guys deal with them. They're tough enough to kill a couple bandits and brigands off. I think they're kind of able to solo Dark Knights too, it just takes some time. Don't want to call this wave until we are uh, ready. I, I think we probably got enough of a damage output to um, 
take care of a gargoyle. Probably. Okay. I think we're, we're killing him off well. Alright. Okay. Okay. Alright, well. Pretty good. More bandits. Dark Knight's brigands. Same exact waves as before. We could use artillery support to deal with a lot of bandits and stuff. Um, since we don't have to worry about, you know, like, necromancers or anything like that, you know, this might be a nice redemption episode for teleport. I mean, I have not really put teleport to use much. First, we gotta worry about these guys up top. Ooh, looks like they are gonna get through. Alright. Oh, it was still fun while it lasted. That's fine. I don't have to beat that now. I, we've accomplished way more than I set out to do today. But I, I did think of something, actually. We never got this achievement, because I did not beat the Citadel with at least three surviving Imperial Guards. So, this is going to be relevant to the next level, so... Let's go to campaign, with Ignis and everything. Let's burn. And let's, let's get this achievement back. Alright. Archers ready? Might and magic need a light. Freedom! I completely forgot they throw spears. through an easier level at the beginning of the game. aren't going to give us trouble with our spear throwing reinforcements. Need a light. Rogers and brigands. All right. 
fire and brimstone. Let's go, Marauders and Brigands. Bring it on. I also have, like, a genius idea for dealing with the Shadow Archers. Aside from just sending Ignis in to deal with them. Ooh, I forgot how much better of a rain of fire I have, too. Three hundred IQ plan. By fire be purged. Let's burn. Need a light. Fire and brimstone. Freedom. Need a light. <laughs> Fire and brimstone. All right. By fire be purged. It really does feel nice to just coast through an easy level. Like once you've progressed so much further through the game. So nice, so peaceful. The gargoyle waves are nice. They're not as dense as gargoyle waves later on in the game. Born to be wild. Freedom! Let's burn. Our next door of business is better mage power. Alright, we're, we're doing fine. Bring out the Dark Knights. Ignis can handle them. They're not even letting him get up to here. They're not even getting into like combat with the purple guys. The the soldiers behind the slaughter, as, as one may call them. I'm gonna leave Ignis down here, probably. And Actually, no, they are actually being very affected by my towers. More Shadow Archers, Marauders, Dark Knights. Alright, next order of business is to get some strong barracks here, because then we're just unbeatable. Ah uh, yes, I remember during the campaign this this uh this wave is when they would start breaking through a bit, but I don't think that's gonna happen here. Fire and brimstone. By fire be purged. Let's burn. I do need artillery up here. 
Oh yeah, Ignis, he's, he's effective, alright. Paladin's holding off ogres, just like in the Moon's Bagarath. Gargoyle wave. Nice and, nice and easy. This this is just so nice. It's like I'm on a little Kingdom Rush power trip. Let's speed this up with spear throwers. Dark Knights, Shadow Archers. I'm gonna move Ignis over here. I am a little bit concerned about Golem Heads, although I guess it doesn't matter because we've already three starred this level. Need a light. Ready? Let's burn. Here he is. Freedom. We're gonna try and just hold him here the whole time. They're done. Bring out Ignis. Alright. Alright. Ignis never gets knocked out. There we go. Let's bring Ignis back into the into the battle. Uh, it looks like they did take out one of our guards, though. Probably, probably took him out with a missile. Sad. Fire and brimstone. However, we have still easily gotten the Imperial Savior Achievement. There we go. So I think we've had a had a pretty good pretty good day. Um, next up, we are going to do the heroic and iron challenges for that level. Oh, and I remember this iron challenge too. The um, only barracks, and they start you off with the mages. Yeah, this one this one's going to be interesting to do. See if that takes a while. Then we're going to do Hushwood, I think, and then maybe Bandit's Lair and try to reconquer Ruins of Akaroth. I have no idea when I'm going to do Twin Rivers Heroic, because I hated that level. Either way, this, this might just be the most successful episode that we have ever had. Uh, I am feeling 
very good about my chances further on in this game. I'm glad that that heroic challenge for Twin Rivers was uniquely hard, and it didn't get worse after that. So, I hope you all have a very nice evening. Goodbye.